Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked is how to add a unique sequence number field in the Power BI visual. Now Power BI doesn't have a built-in property for a visualization like table or matrix where you can simply add a sequence number. So it means you have to use some kind of a measure there. And especially when you are using it to matrix visual, it would be even more difficult because rows are before it. But in a table visual, pretty much we can use it on the very first column, a sequence number. And to add that sequence number, we would require a row number function. Now row number function, the sequence would be dependent on what you have into the visualization. So based on what you have into the visualization, you can calculate a row number. And the syntax of the function row number is you have to use the relation so in this case i've used all selected item brand and item category and then you need to use an order by which i've used on net descending because in this one i want to generate number based on the net's descending order and then where you want to keep the null values that's the last option which you have to use so let's try out this function on power bi desktop so that you better understand how to use it so let me jump onto the Power BI desktop and explain you how to use row number function for sequences and we will be using a table visual. I am on the Power BI desktop now and I've already created page 253 which is basically the question 53 of the interview series which you're watching here. Now let me add first of all from the item table brand and let's create a sequence for this now because i want a sequence for net and i want net to be the order of the sequence let me bring in so i have net in the visualization i'll show you two sequences now one which is based on net and one which is based on brand now let me create the new major because we have to create major for this one so home tab is visible and under the home tab i do have option for new major so i'll use that new major first based on net so sequence number one and i'm going to use directly the row number function row number what is the first argument relation which i'm going to use all selected item brand what is the second argument order by so i'm going to use order by and how do i want order by i want order by of net and that to descending then i can use various other argument like blanks so blanks i want at last so i'm going to use last i can leave out partition by match by and reset because they are not applicable for this particular case so i have generated sequence number one and which i'm going to place in my visualization and i'm pulling it into the columns at the top and as you can see we got the sequences and you would find this is very similar to rank function but row number function is going to ensure the uniqueness now let's try the second way of this function and this time i would like to sort based on brand not based on the net and i have also one challenge here the brand is actually a text field so what would happen when i sort out on brand the sequencing would give me brand one and brand 10 together so i don't want that so what I'm going to do here to overcome that, that I'm going to include here brand ID, which is basically a numeric one for the same. And in order by now, I'm going to use item brand ID. And definitely in this case, I want ascending, not descending. Again, blanks at the last. Let me bring in this sequence again near to the older sequence and because we are now on the brand so let me sort on this sequence and as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 now this is when we have the single column let's try with the multi column what happens so let me duplicate this visual and try to add category into this visualization and check what happens so let me add category after the brand and what you will observe here is 
let me first sort on the net that the things doesn't seem so great and let me sort on the category to understand that better so if you see inside the category you will see that it is auto partition so and this is typical power bi behavior understand better let me sort on category and then on net category and shift net and check the first one now you can understand that it's getting auto partitioned so what we need is a new sequence here and the sequence in this case we are going to copy the sequence one code and i'll create a new major from the major tools now and here sequence three and now in this sequence i'm going to use all selected item brand and all selected item category order by net descending and blanks at the last and let me add this sequence into the visualization and remove the other sequences because they are not applicable for this one and let me sort on the sequence ascending which is as good as net sorting descending so in this manner you can get the row numbers into your visualization if you are working across table you can use summarize along with all selected on a central fact like sales and get the same kind of sequences so try this out row number is a really interesting function which you can use for quite a few purposes it is part of the series of window function which has been released over last one and a half years so it is good to know this function and its usage and what all places you can apply this so go ahead and try that out thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you